Well, we're going to look to build an account. And a warm welcome to one and all. And for those of you who have not seen me before, my name is Langers, and I am the overgrown child that is the Scruffy Trader. And the Scruffy Trader really loves a coffee today. He certainly does, because we all know Scruffy likes a coffee. And why is that? Well, it's been a bit rough of late. No way! Uh, not the charts. Charts have been fantastic. In fact, they've been that good. I'm finished for the year. Are you serious? Um, I've achieved the salary that I need to achieve. Um, I built the accounts that I said I would do throughout the year and it's all documented. So if you haven't seen any of the videos before, do go through them and you'll see sort of what I'm about to do again from inception. And this time I'm doing it from a very low value because it's incredibly difficult. And why? Because I've got time. Um, I wasn't going to really do a lot in December. I don't anyway. Uh, I kind of concentrate on the swing trades that I have running and start looking to shut them down. And if I am looking to open up a new trade, it's something that will be done and dusted in maybe a couple of days, if that. And I can just take my time. Why? Because sometimes I like a break. Now, I also enjoy doing the videos. As, as you say, I do quite a few. And I did take a couple of days off and I got loads of messages saying, where are you at? <laughs> we haven't seen you today. And I'm like, don't panic. I'm just, just having a break. <laughs> uh, but I have spent a bit of time with the Scruffy Squad, um, keeping an eye on what's going on there. And a lot of the guys, they're messaging me all the time because if you're a rogue member and one thing and another, um, you have direct access to me. So I've spent a lot of time just helping those guys sort of finish off the year and one thing and another. And like most things, there's only so many hours in the day. But anyway, cut long story short, I said it was a bit rough. And it has, because you, you... The problem with things like YouTube and sort of any sort of public area is you, you have your good people and you're not so good people. And the good people definitely outweigh the bad. Good job. But the bad have the biggest mouth. You know, you're a classic example of the inverse ratio between the size of the mouth and the size of the brain. And when you they see some of my accounts, and I, I do, I am one of the few traders that put up my statements and, and if you go through them you will see it and in fact I'm going to show you one that I'm starting today um, they don't like it when the figures are big uh, but what you got to remember is this is my job it's, it's kind of what I do for a living and it takes money to make money um, and as I go through the consensus it's the one thing that is quite apparent is you guys like to see things from inception build up accounts now i, I build up a number this year um some of them into wage accounts and some of them i built just to have a holiday um and we continue to do these challenges the holiday side of it they're putting us into restrictions again so <laughs> Uh, I'm desperate for a holiday. I've got all this money in the bank waiting to go and I can't go. Um, please, if there is a lord up there, put an end to this because Scruffy definitely needs a holiday. He definitely does. Anyway, what am I banging on about? Just waffling. Well, that's the end of the night. I've had a long day. And one of the guys in the Scruffy squad requested kind of a daily update of a small account being built. Now, I'm not sure whether I'll do it daily, but I'll certainly do it regular because I want to concentrate on 
the foundation as well. And the foundation is part of the Scruffy Squad and public, what you'll find on YouTube, of quick fire videos just answering your questions. What's an RSI? How do you use an RSI? What's the stochastic? What's a MACD? Um, how do you put levels in? All of this sort of different things. How to build up a, a trading plan. And the idea is that at the end of the foundation, well, it won't be an end because it'll it's work in progress. It'll constantly go. Um, you will have a foundation for your business plan to go to market. That's the whole idea of building up the foundation. Because I don't sell courses or anything, so I just make it and build it up and then essentially you're making your own course, if that makes sense. Um, don't buy courses, guys. Um, you're just throwing your money away. Um, every system works. You've just got to apply yourself correctly. Anyway, let me flick this over and we'll have a look. So I'm starting um, an account. Now, today is kind of the first full day. I did put a couple of trades on last night while I was setting my platform up. And we're already 8% up on the drawdown balance. Now, that's what I'm working this on. And if you haven't seen these sheets before, this is how I sort of manage my trades. I journal everything and I'm quite methodical that way. And I break everything down, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll update this over and over, but I'll also show you the live statement as well, okay? And let me just figure that out. There we go, all right? So we, we set this away. This is kind of day one, first full day. That's my name in the top, is it there? You should be able to see my name in the top corner. There you are. There's my name in the top corner. And it's a 10 grand account. Why am I doing this? Because it is bloody hard. Well, why is that? Because your max drawdown at the start is only 400, which is here. All right. Now I've increased that, which means you've got not much room to maneuver and that's why i'm doing it because it is hard you know you've got to control your position sizes you've got to control your emotions um because it won't take long to blow a hole in 400 if i think along the lines of 10 grand and what do i mean by that it's very easy to put lots and lots of positions on and it's very easy to up your position size to something that is too big for the account. Now, these are mistakes we all do. I've certainly done it, you know, where I've put positions on that are way too big for the account. And the amount of stress you go through is massive. So you've got to be a bit careful. The difference between a small account and a big account is your big account can take it, you know, and you can sort of weather the storm a little bit better with a bigger account with a small account like this you can't it is really hard um and i think that's where some people get a little bit caught out um position sizing is key now i've set this at 50 pence now i will open up to five positions which is two pound 50 but the way that i do things with scruffy madness is the risk is minimal um, so it looks a lot but it, it's not actually it, it, if you work the maths out it's, it's quite effective way of trading so there is the chart that we're starting with um, I've got nothing running and there's the trades sort of from late last night till today okay nice, nice and simple now what platforms am I using well I'm using this one this is MT5, and all I'm doing tonight is giving you a, a brief overview of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Now, the MT5 platform for the five percenters uh, is very intuitive, it's very user friendly, and you can set your profiles up anywhere you choose. And if you're following this journey, 
and you want to try the five percenters go down in the description and you'll find a link you'll get five percent off because i work closely with these guys and i do trade some big accounts for them um so they passed it over for you and you'll also find my contact details in some various links to brokers like black bull which will give you 500 to 1 leverage at this moment in time these are people that i use and i trust okay so what i'm saying you can set this up easy with profiles well i set mine up slightly different as you can see i have them all broken up this section is what i call clean charts so if i'm looking at the pound which i was there i can look at all of them at one go at the flick of a button just like so now say i wanted to trade the euro i can click onto the euro and i can have a look at all of the euros together why would i do that i won't necessarily trade all of these and i don't trade all of them in fairness um, i only trade a handful of them but i like to see what the euro itself is doing globally in other words if all of the pairs are going up is it not fair to assume that you've got the wind behind you and you should be going up as well that's kind of why i do it i look at correlations which is down here now these are the markets that i look at every single day which is the euro dollar uh, pound dollar and dollar jpy why is that because they are correlated if the us jpy is heavily moving down it's reasonable to assume that the pound and euro will move up why because it just shows weakness in, in the dollar and that's it it's literally is is that simple and i like to see which ones but they're also markets that i i trade on a daily basis okay so that's that and then i'll take it down into say a trading screen uh sort of like this where i can manipulate it put all my marks on it do what i need to do and off we pop very very simple and then popping orders in and one thing another it's just literally click of a button um put your pending orders in whatever you want let it get on there very very simple easy platform to work with so there we go that, that's what i'm up to over the next well this month really um like i say i'm still going to continue with the foundation and um, putting extra videos into that uh, do comment do let me know what you want because the channel is kind of driven by you guys as much as what's in my little bobble head um, when it comes to strategies and plans and tips etc it's not all about that if you're just looking for a strategy you're probably on the wrong foot and i know that's odd and i know you've heard me say that before it's only one small part of your trading career your emotional side is probably what will get you through it so you need to know what your pain thresholds are and how to map and read a chart and it's that simple uh, if you can read a chart you're halfway there if you can trade a chart with limited to no emotion you'll add another 25 percent onto that figure you know so you're already 75 percent there and then your strategy makes up the rest well strategy makes up the next 15 percent and the rest of it's just luck because <laughs> sometimes you do hit lucky you know um you might plan a trade that's going to go five to ten pips and the candle just goes 50 pips in a straight line um doesn't happen very often but it does happen so there's an element of good luck and surprise in in there as well so that's it that's what i'm doing uh i've set myself three months to do this why because it's tight you know um but hopefully i'll do it a, a little bit quicker 
and the way that I've set well I'll show you I'll, I'll show you before I scoot I will show you the way I've set it up is very simple if you haven't seen these sheets I use them all the time um, I have a summary at the front and then it's just the months worked out and it breaks it down now you'll notice I haven't put 10 grand on here I put 400 because that is the account that I'm working with in other words the amount of money that I'm working with um, and it just helps it keep real inside my mind uh, I'm looking to achieve well 864 a day which is 2% of the balance uh, but my initial start is 692 a day based on four months all right so I'm giving myself decent time to do it you know put your maximum uh, parameters in in this case four months I have an inkling that I could do it in maybe two to three and I'll just slowly plot away now every time I do more than eight pound 64 or more than six pound 92 to be honest I knock a day or so much time off the end and that's all I'll do and then I break it down as to how many pips I need to achieve um, how many splits I'm prepared to put into the market and it also does my compounding for me it's a good useful tool and um, once you get your head around it, it it pays dividends and then I'll keep an eye on what I'm looking at it's sort of the notes down here the market that I'm trading was I short along at the time and kind of the reason as to why now in this one it was a retrace bounce from a strong sell-off well what what happened was on the day you saw the market come down well, like a brick uh, what goes down must come up found its levels it retraced it's failed to recover a hundred percent of that sort of drop so therefore the greater move was still in play so it was short and, it, and it, it's kind of that was the reasoning behind it and then you go to your chart and you overlay a strategy onto the levels and the framework that you've laid out and that's it you know whereas I think some people put the strategy onto the chart first and then try to figure out from there whereas if you've done your homework and you've got an idea of what the market's trying to achieve then you're on the better foot I hope that makes sense genuinely do um, but like I say if you're stuck I'm always about you know I mean, I'm at the screens pretty much constantly and anybody who sends a message kind of gets it answered relatively quickly uh, and if not find your way onto my blog site scruffytrader.com and just drop me an email because I answer every single one of them so as always guys trade well keep your risk managed but above all do what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one